back to my channel and my basket full of small shop packages. <laughs> so I have been accumulating for, this is two months worth of purchases. So I know it's a lot. <laughs> I did make quite a few purchases, um, but I did want to share everything with you guys. So I have opened these packages just so it's a little bit easier. Also, a couple of them I had uh, giveaway items for my 2K Instagram giveaway. Um, I haven't posted it yet, so if you don't follow me on Instagram, head over there and keep an eye out for... Um, I, I think I'm going to do something, something similar to what I did for 1K, which I did a week of giveaways, and I'm planning to do the same. So I have been accumulating a few things. Um, so yeah, head over there. It's at Diamond Paintings by Laura. Uh, and keep an eye out for that announcement because it will be happening soon. I do have to pick up one more item and then we'll be ready to go. So let's get into this. I have a lot of things. I have a pen. I have some new putty. I have a bunch of minders. I don't know what, what got into me. Like I cleaned my or reorganized my minder boards and suddenly I was like, wow, I have so much space. Let me buy some more minders. Um, there's also been some really good sales and all that stuff. So it is what it is. I made a lot of purchases. There are actually some new shops to me in here, which is exciting. Um, so yeah, I don't know where I want to start. Um, what should I start with? I don't know. Let's do a tried and true shop. And this is one that I did get into to pull out a uh, prize for my giveaway. But this is Caffeinated Cat Crafts. Um, they are a minder store over on Etsy. And they also happen to be very local to me, which is quite cool. Um, they are a couple of hours away. They're a little further up north than I am but they have some really adorable minders. So I did have six, this one here, you will see uh, if you follow me on Instagram, it'll be a part of one of my giveaway sets, but I did pick up a few Halloween themed um, minders. So we have this really cute little pumpkin, we have a witch's hat, we have a black cat in a pumpkin, a really cute little ghost. And then this one obviously is not Halloween, this is a cherry blossom lantern and I have had my eye on the restock list for Petals Fall, which is, I think it's a Yume Arts piece. Um, it's a really beautiful image. Um, there's cherry blossoms and there's a, um, a person playing the flute, which I played the flute for many years. I still have mine. Um, and I've been waiting for that one to restock. So when I saw this minder, I thought it would be perfect for that kit. So I decided to snag it. So that is Caffeinated Cat Crafts. I love their minders. They're all metal with like an enam enamel on them. These ones are metal with resin, which is really cool. But I have quite a few minders from uh, Caffeinated Cat Crafts and I really love the quality. And they have really nice sized magnets on the back. So here is their business card. Um, I will link their Etsy shop down below. I love their business card. I love their little logo. So that is the first shop. I don't know that I'm going to be able to keep everything in frame, but I'm going to try. Okay, how about we do a new shop to me? This one is from Crafts with Crashly. Um, I believe she has a YouTube channel and she obviously has an Etsy page. And she does some really neat stuff over there. So she does have minders. I didn't pick any minders up from her this go around. Oh, but I got one. Got a little freebie minder there. I just wanna pull out my invoice so that I can tell you the right information. Okay. So, I got some things, I got some things. Let's see, I did open this because we were going away and the mail came right before and I didn't feel like running back in the house. So I did open and take a look at this one. So we have a really nice little note. I love when you get a handwritten note from shop owners. We have some stickers, dancing avocado. What the heck is that? It looks like a germ and a flower. 
And here is their business card. Okay, let's see, what do we have here? So these are a freebie. So she does printed release papers. So here is her logo just on a couple of small pieces. And I thought that these were really neat. Now, when I started diamond painting and up until maybe about a year ago, I always used release papers uh, before I had figured out how to use washi to, oh, I got a roll of washi as well. Before I had figured out using a roll of washi to section off your canvas, I just went for release papers. It was easy. Um, but ever since I was able to figure out how to use washi tape, I've kind of pretty much stuck to that. But I do like having release papers available when I'm diamond painting a large section so I can just lay it down so I don't get my arm stuck in it and all that fun stuff. So she has really adorable printed release papers. So this one is called Kitty Cats. It's a set of 10 sheets and these measure in the 5.25 inch by four inch. So this is a great size section. Sometimes I do larger ones, but this is still a really fun size. And you guys know, I had to get the cats. She has since come out with some really nice Halloween and fall uh, papers and another type of cat ones. Um, I'm going to be stalking her shop to see if she comes out with something for Christmas. <laughs> but I just thought these were really cute and would be fun to have for my kids. So she offers um, the set of 10 in this size. And then I think she does a set of five in like this, like if you put these two together, I think she offers a set of five in that larger size. My cat is getting into trouble outside of the door, but that's okay. All right, so that was the first thing. We do have our free little minder here, really pretty purple gem. And here is the, the stars of the show, <laughs> at least I hope. I picked up three of her Ribbit Stick It Tacky, tacky putty. Ribbit, stick it, putty. Okay. <laughs> if I can get this box open. And I believe these are minders. Yeah, so we have them in a nice box. And then they are minders. I picked up three cents. We have coconut coral. Sand and sea. I like how she has the little label there and pumpkin ginger streusel. So we have, ooh, ooh, this is sticky. I'm trying to get it out so I can show it to you. <laughs> I mean, sticky is good. It is diamond painting putty. Maybe, it, is it not meant to come out? Okay. Ooh, that smells good. This is gonna be nice for some of my fall kits. This is the pumpkin ginger. Mmm, it does smell good. And it's quite sticky, so it's just a little ball of putty. And let's see how she recommends. So she says to pinch a small amount of off the ball and roll between your fingers to form a small ball to go in a single placer or a thin line to go in a multi-placer. Okay, so that's similar to how I use putty anyway. I tend to pull some out and then I roll it to the length of my multi-placer and I just kind of stuff it in there. So she does recommend using it how I would use it. So that's nice. I do like to use it properly the first time and then I kind of do my own thing, but very cool. And this one smells delicious. This is the pumpkin ginger. We have coconut coral. Ooh, that one smells really good. That's another kind of orangey one and sand and sea. Ooh, that one might be my favorite. So that one's blue. Cool, I'm excited. I am really into trying putties right now. I felt like I was kind of, I don't wanna say stuck in my ways because the one that I used all the time is great, but there's so many fun things out there to try. Uh, so I'm trying to expand my horizons a little bit. I'm going to go see what kind of trouble my cat's getting into and I'll be right back. She had somehow managed to get a hold of one of my makeup brushes and was dragging it all around the house. <laughs> 
Okay, let's see. What should we do next? Let's do this little guy. So this is a new shop to me. This is called Jessica Long Embroidery. Um, obviously, she's an embroidery shop, but she does, I thought I opened this, she does carry cover minders and some really, really cute ones at that. So when I saw this minder, I just knew I needed to grab it. All right, what do we have here? So she looks like, ooh, cool. She has a, a workbook if you're into embroidery. I'm not, but very cool. Uh, she has a Patreon if you're interested. And here is her business card. Pretty business card. And here is the minder. It's these two little otters holding starfish. <laughs> so if you saw one of my recent Diamond Art Club unboxings, I shared floating along. And I had mentioned that I was on Etsy just looking around and this minder popped up and I took it as a sign. So if you're interested to hear a little more about that, um, I'll link that video down below, but won't this go so cute with floating along? It's a Jeremiah Kettner piece. Uh, now she has a very interesting back magnet. I'm assuming that has something to do with embroidery. I might just use one of my own flat magnets. I think this might um, pop my canvas up a little further than I would like, but that's okay. And these are metal, quite thick. She had some really cute ones. There was a hedgehog. I think it was to match this this uh, embroidery kit there. She had a hedgehog. She had a bunch of really, really cute ones. A little more pricey than some of our standard minders that you see kind of geared towards diamond painting, but um, I caught it on a sale. So I was happy to pick it up. And I, if you've been around, you know I'm a matchy-matchy kind of person. So I'm happy to have um, a minder to match that kit. Okay, let's go for a pen. Yes. So this is a pen from Jim's Handmade Pen Shop. I'm actually waiting on another one to come in, but I need to get into these packages because I have, uh, I need some of them for my current or upcoming projects. So I'll just share that pen on Instagram when it comes in. But um, we have a pen from Jim's, one of my favorite pen shops out there. I think, no, I have the invoice right here. All right, I'm excited for this one. Ooh, it came out so cool. So it's this orange and black, like they kind of, the black in there kind of looks like little, I don't know if they're little blocks or pieces of something, Is but this is like the perfect Halloween pen. Very cool. Oh, I'm excited to use this one. So this will definitely be pulled out in October. I kind of realized that I didn't have very many Halloween themed pens. Um, so I was just kind of browsing and Jim's shop always pops into my mind when I'm looking for a specific type of pen. Um, he stocks so many blanks. So if you're looking for something, a certain color or a certain style, definitely head over to his shop because he has a very large selection. I love some of the other shops that, um, you know, kind of their specialty or they don't have a, a stock all the time. They do like drops. I love those stores as well. But when you're looking for something in particular, Jim's is a great option. So definitely head over there. And his pens are very, very affordable. This pen was, does it tell me on here? I don't think it does. I want to say this pen was like $26 or $28. That's really affordable uh, in the diamond painting pen world. So super excited to have this in my stash for Halloween. Love that. Okay, what else do we want to get into? What's this? All right, we have a lot of minders. Let's do this one. This is an order from Mad for Minders, another favorite shop. They are lo located over on Etsy. 
I love their minders. They stock some really awesome wood minders, which have become a favorite. All right, did I miss a business card? Yes, I did. Here is the business card. Mad for minders. Very nicely packaged. We have some foamy stuff. And then here are the ones that I picked up. <laughs> I know I'm jumping ahead to, to Christmas, but can you blame me? No, you can't. <laughs> so this one says, I just want to watch Hallmark Christmas movies all day. That is me from like November 1st until they stop running them in January. I have it on all the time in the background. I don't know why I love the cheesy holiday, small town, <laughs> same movie, but different actors and actresses. Um, we have this cute little kitty and a Christmas wreath. This is one of the wooden minders. Don't hate on my Christmas music. I start Christmas music November 1st. I am a Christmas is two months for me. We start in November and we go until beginning of January. I can't help myself. Uh, this really cute, hello, I'm socially awkward. Hi, my name is Laura, I'm socially awkward. And this really adorable little kitty cat with bat ears and wings. Uh, I thought this would be really cute. I'm thinking, I'm hoping that I can squeeze in, um, what is the name of that kit? Alley Cat from Hannah Lynn. And I thought this might be a cute minder to go with that. So some more minders. I have a lot. <laughs> I have a lot to share with you, but that's okay. All right, let's do, oh, this is a big order. This is another minder order. Oh gosh. So this is an order from Galloway's Gallery. Uh, there was a coupon code for the ABs in August event. And I was like, oh, it's been a while since I have checked out. Uh, Jeanette is the owner of Galloway's Gallery. In fact, I don't think I've ordered from her since she moved to her own website. And that's got to be coming up on a year. So it's been a while. She had some amazing, amazing minders and the coupon code was helpful, but she always sends her orders in these really cute bags. I have a collection of them. When she was on Etsy, I ordered from her all the time um, just because I would kind of throw items from a couple of shops in my basket and then I would just place an order. Um, but I have, I had checked out her website, but I hadn't completed an order. So I went a little crazy, a lot crazy. Wait until you see this, oh my gosh. I'm ashamed, but I'm still gonna share them. <laughs> All right, she has changed her packaging a little bit since I've ordered. Oh no, I think I have two cardboard pieces. <laughs> oh boy, can I get into this? Oh no, I went upside down, didn't I? Shoot. Okay, hold on. Oh no. No. I ruined the display. Ooh, she sent me a freebie. Okay, here we go. We're good, we're good. I got it. Okay, clearly that didn't go there. Good enough. Stop it. All right, here we go. Sorry. <laughs> a little bit of a mess. I love how she ships her minders. So nice. Okay, so here is everything I picked up. She gave, she sent me this freebie here. Uh, I don't know how she figured out that I was a Hufflepuff, but she did. How did she know? I don't know. I am a Hufflepuff, weird. Um, so I have this really cute Hogwarts minder. I've seen this one. Somebody else had picked it up and I was like, ooh, I need that. Um, we have this really nice light bulb. I just thought this was, sometimes I have kits where there's not necessarily like a themed minder that goes with it. So I like to pair a floral or something neutral and I thought this would be a good option. I do have the Diamond Art Club Polar Express kit that I wanna work on. So I picked up this Believe minder. I'm dreaming of a Hogwarts Christmas. I'd rather be watching musicals. Yes, love me a musical. Uh, you Will Be Found is um, from Dear Evan Hansen, a musical. Don't Stop Believing. I just thought this was a really cute one to have in my stash. 
grow through what you go through. If you've been on my channel uh, at all over the last year, you know that I've had some personal things going on in the background and I just thought that this fit my message. <laughs> it fits me very well right now. This cute little witch's hat with the pumpkins, a little fall minder with the tall boots and the scarf. Love that one. Be kind, thought this one was super cute. Collect memories, another be kind. And I picked up a Pocahontas minder because a couple of months ago I did find my unicorn diamond painting, which is, uh, which was Daughter of Peace. Uh, so that depicts Pocahontas and I want to work on that one next year. So I did pick up this really pretty Pocahontas minder. So that is my obnoxiously large minder order from Galloway's Gallery. I know, <laughs> like I said in the intro of this video, I reorganized my minder boards and that apparently made me think that I had room for all of these new minders, but what are you going to do? Okay, so that's that one. And then I have some more putty to try. Now I have purchased from Enablers Outpost before uh, when they were, actually I think they are still on Etsy, they just have their shop closed and they've been selling from their website. Um, but I have purchased pens from their Etsy store before. Um, but I had yet to pick up any of their chit, which is their version of putty. So I saw that they were releasing a sampler of autumn scents and I decided to pick one up and because it was my first order on their website oops I re I received a coupon code so I was able to use that for my um for my order so I was able to get some money off which was awesome so we have some directions here and it makes me laugh and it says don't worry we aren't using a bad four letter word in the name chit Ch -ch 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 <laughs> is actually the Romanian word for putty. So very cool. This is their version two. I never tried version one, but excited to try this one. I honestly, I had tried to get it. I just could never get my hands on it. We have a Halloween sticker. I'm loving the Halloween themed packaging. Little bubble mailers, Halloween. The bag is skulls. We have a little Tootsie Pop. And here is the sampler set. So we have Crisp Night Air. I can't wait to smell that one. Candy Corn, Marshmallow, Caramel Corn, Autumn Wreath, and Pumpkin Pie. So let's get into these because I am excited. I wanna say this was, a, the sampler was all six, was it six cents or seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven samplers. Oh, that smells so good. Oh my gosh. Yes, yes. What can I use this on? <laughs> uh, so it was seven samplers for $25 and I had a $10 off coupon. So um, was it 20? Something like that. But I feel like this is a really decent sized amount I don't know how much comes in their standard size. Like if you were to just buy one regular size, I don't know what the measurement is. But with putty, if you're familiar with it, it lasts quite a long time. And they're saying here that this lasts, um, one tip filled lasted for a month, approximately 15 hours of diamond painting and 30 days of being exposed to the air while in the pen. So you really won't need a lot. It seems like a decent amount. Ooh, I, I think, I, well, I can't see my favorite. I haven't smelled them all yet. This one smells divine. We have candy corn. Not gonna lie, I'm not a candy corn person, but let's see. Okay, this smells pretty good. Not gonna lie. Again, I don't lie. <laughs> it smells kind of vanilla-y, but I like that. I wasn't quite sure what to expect for candy corn. I'm so excited for fall. So excited. Okay, we have marshmallow. Where am I gonna store all this putty? Oh my gosh. Ooh, that smells really good. Kind of smells like a s'more. I don't know why I'm showing you. It's just 
colorless. <laughs> All three smell really good so far. We have caramel corn. Caramel or caramel? How do you say it? Or caramel? <laughs> All right. Sorry, I'm trying to move through this as fast as I can, but I've been dying to smell these. Oh my gosh, is this my favorite? This smells exactly like if you open a bag or one of those tins of caramel corn, it's exactly what that smells like. They're spot on with their namings here. This one is Autumn Wreath. I'm very excited for this one. Oh, this one's my favorite. This smells like leaves, candle from Bath and Body Works favorite candle of all time. This is my favorite. Nothing will top it. Not even this pumpkin pie. <laughs> oh, open. Okay, last one. Pumpkin pie. Mm, that smells good too. It does smell like pumpkin of some, some sort. My favorites are autumn wreath, hand down, hand down, hands down, crisp night air, and I think caramel corn is top three. They all smell really nice. I'm super excited to try them. I'm thinking of putting together a putty video where I kind of talk about why I prefer putty and I share what's out there and how I like to use it. So if that's something that you're interested in, please let me know and I will start putting that video together. Okay, we made it to the last shop. Now, this is a new to me shop. I have never purchased from it before and I've never seen it before. Doesn't mean I, obviously other people have purchased from it because they have sales on Etsy, but I haven't seen anyone else talk about it. So this is Country Craft Closet. Now I did get into this package because I had to pull something out for a, for one of my giveaways on Instagram. Um, and of course I opened the wrong batch. <laughs> of course, that's just how it works. But I did put everything back. And I'm super excited to share it with you because this store is so affordable, so super affordable. And I will talk about that when I get into this little satchel here, but let's start with this one. So they actually also offer their own diamond painting putty. They call it neon tacky, I believe, or neon tack maybe. And they sell it in sets or you can just buy one little pot of it. So in the set, you get the putty and you get a tool to help fill and clean out your tip. I thought that was pretty cool. It just looks like a nail art kind of dotter tool to me. You also get some directions. Well, let's take a look at this. I don't think it has a smell. Just looking to see if I have the invoice. Maybe she didn't send one because I don't see it anywhere. But, well, there's a lot in here. So this is full right to the top. And this does seem a little bit harder, but it had excellent reviews on, ooh, on the store. The reviews were really, really great, which is why I was interested in trying it. So I would just pull off a piece like that and then I would stick this in my multi-placer. I do prefer to use putty exclusively in my multi-placer. I tend to not use it in a single placer. That's just personal preference. I like my glue dots, uh, mini or micro glue dots in my single placer. So I'm excited to test that out. I have a lot of putty to work with. <laughs> Okay, next in this bag, I have a bunch of minders. I know, you're surprised. I went a little minder crazy this the last month and a half, but it's fine. So here is their business card. And I'm going to strongly suggest that you go check out their shop because they have minders, the same minders that you will find in some of the shops that I've shared today and some other really popular minder shops, they have the same minders for half the price. It's, I found them and I was like, no way. Like this must be a sale. No, it was their regular price. 
and they were there were some that I had in one of my carts from one of these other minder companies. Same exact ones for half the price. So as you can imagine, I took them out of the other shop and purchased them from this one. So just keep that in mind. Go check out their shop. The owner's name is Karen. Um, really great prices. I'm sure they're great. I'll look at them and then I'll give you my final recommendation here. So I did get some freebies. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Look at the little reindeer. It's so cute. And a little pumpkin. All right, these are really cutely packaged. So they each have their own little bag. All right, books are better than people. Facts. <laughs> Uh, little pumpkin with a sunflower. Love that one. We have two on this one. So we have a black cat and this little tiered tray. I have to admit, I'm not on with the gnome trend. It's just not my thing, but I have a tiered tray <laughs> just like this. I have this Ray Dunn Christmas mug. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna need that one. So <laughs> there's those two. We have unsolicited opinions from random, random people in a little dumpster. I like that one. Maybe it's cold outside. We'll be in winter before we know it. So I thought that would look cute with some of my winter kits. Almost done. This cute little jellyfish. I just thought was, I loved the colors on it. And then true crime junkie. We have a cute little snowman and a Christmas tree and a snow globe. And this one, this is what started it all. I was looking for a reminder for um, my upcoming project. By the time this video goes out, I'm probably already working on it. Uh, I did post the kidding up for it. It's pumpkins for sale from Craftably. And I was kind of looking for a cute little minder to go with it. And I found this one in their shop. And that is what sparked this, <laughs> this purchase. So that is everything. I don't even want to count how many minders are here. Please don't count and tell me because <laughs> I know it's too many. But I was excited to find some new shops um, this go around. I do feel like I've kind of been purchasing from the, sh the same uh, stores, which is great. I love going back and supporting um, my favorite places, but it's also fun to find new stores and pick up some new things to try. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's small shop haul. Keep an eye out for a post on my other pen from Jim's. I wish I had seen that one at the time I placed this order, but I didn't. So it is what it is. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you're most excited to see me use out of this group of things. And let me know if you're interested in that putty video that I mentioned earlier. Uh, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!